And for the first time in my life, I saw Satan in my dream. And he came to me to plead with me that I need your help. Now, the Satan I saw did not have horns. He was the most beautiful creature. I mean beautiful, not handsome. The most beautiful creature I've ever seen before. And trust me, I've seen all kinds of angels. The beauty I saw, he was radiating. And you know what? He was self-controlled to an extent that I did not expect. He doesn't stammer. He's so fluid in his speech. Ah, if you are not 100% submitted to Jesus, you will follow him. Oh, he's, he's good. So I need your help. Say, my help. Then he told me the project that he was putting up in England. Now he needs my help to finish it. So I said, but are you not aware I'm called to destroy that project? He said, that's why I came. We don't need to fight. We can. Then I woke up, eased myself, I came back again. When I slept, I was there again. This time he had gold. He had about 2,000 cards that look like ATM cards. I said, these are access cards. They can lead me to nations, to kings. I will have influence throughout my lifetime. And this gold is enough money that is too much for me to spend in one lifetime. Then he brought another thing that he didn't tell me what it was. It was like a crystal ball. One roundish thing that was like the moon. I was the one that was angry. He was... So I woke up in the morning, I called my wife. I said, Satan came home. <laughs> we went down, had breakfast. We came back again. I slept again and I was, he was there again. This, so it was not about when I slept. Somebody was okay. It's a product of stress. Ah, I had slept. In the morning, he showed up again. Three times. Then I studied the Bible to see every time that Satan negotiated with people what was the object of the negotiation when pharaoh was negotiating with moses what was it about when the kings of sodom came to negotiate with abraham what was it about when when he came to negotiate with jesus in the wilderness what was the subject he said they were gone greedily in the way of Balaam. have you been negotiated out of destiny and the, the, what you are calling breakthrough are the spoils of compromise that you have drawn from this spirit. My sword will not fight on Satan's side. And finally, in Revelation chapter 2 verse 14,